guys, it's Kira and welcome to another video. I am super excited about today's video because quite a long time ago now, at some point last year, I found a Buzzfeed list, which was the Rory Gilmore reading list, which features every single book that's ever mentioned in the Gilmore Girls TV series. That is a lot of books. And I made a video going through that list and exposing exactly how many of them I had read, which to be quite honest, was a lot less than I was hoping for, but it was such a fun video to film to see like literally every book that's mentioned in the TV series and also just to check myself and see how many of them I had read and how many of them I had still left to read, which was a lot, but it was so much fun to film. So when recently I came across a different but similar style of Buzzfeed list, which was the top 100 books of all time, I knew I had to make a video about it because that is a bold statement. The top 100 books of all time, that's big, that's huge. And I was excited to see how many of them I have read. So I haven't looked at this list at all. I just found the Buzzfeed article and I've left it waiting to film this video because I'm very excited to see what is on there and surprise myself with how many I have or haven't read. I'm hoping to have read at least 50 because I'm only 24 so I've still got quite a lot of my life left to read the rest of the books but I feel like considering that I have done an English degree I'd like to have read like a fair few of them. So without further ado I have a cup of tea, I have my phone where I'm going to be looking at the Buzzfeed list in question and seeing how many of the top 100 books of all time I've actually read. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm also going to leave a link to this Buzzfeed list in the description box of this video. So if you want to follow along and see how many you've read and leave a comment down below at the end saying how many of the list you have actually read, I would love for you to do that. So you can find the link in the description box. So let's get into it. Okay. Okay, well, we're starting with a big fat no because that is Don Quixote. I asked, I think that one was on the Rory Gilmore reading list and I still get comments to this day over a year later telling me how terribly I pronounced Don Quixote. So I'm hoping that I'm doing it better now, but I have not read that one. Next up, we have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, which I have in fact read, so we've got a tick. And also The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, which I've read. I didn't really like it, but I've read it, so it counts. Then we have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I have not read that. We do have it on our shelves though. Jay and I both read Huckleberry Finn around the same time. Jay liked it, I didn't, and he wanted to read The Adventures of Tom Sawyer as well. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I haven't actually read that. I feel like that could be quite like a fun one. I feel like I've seen the, is there like a Disney film version? I feel like I've seen that, but I have not read it. Next up, okay. I'm seeing a couple that I have read, thank God for that. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, of course. I've got about one, two, I'm fairly certain I've got like four or five copies of Pride and Prejudice on my shelves. Um, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, I love that book so much. I know that of the Bronte books, that one is a bit of a mixed response. People either really love it or really hate it, but I really love it. And then also Jane Eyre, which I've also read and really, really liked. Okay. Oh no, I'm seeing quite a few that I haven't read. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Haven't read and honestly, I, I don't think I ever will. Like it doesn't appeal to me. It's so big, but I'm like, what's it really about? If anyone's read it and liked it, let me know. But for now, it's not high on my list. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I've had on my shelves for so long. Sounds really interesting, but it's one of those ones that I just don't know why I haven't read it. Like I just keep not reading it, but I want to. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. I kind of didn't know that was a book, you know, like I know that there's a Jack Black film, but I didn't actually know it was based on a book, so that's fun. The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. I've never heard of that book before in my life. I can't believe that on the top books ever list. But anyway, Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Love that book. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. Not read. And then Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, also have not read. My friends Emma and Carolyn, who you probably know from their booktube channels, which I'll link down below, and they are also um, currently like hosting a Dickens versus Tolstoy read along. So I might try and join in with some of the ones that I haven't actually read because there are quite a few Dickens that I haven't read. Although most of the ones that I have read, I've really enjoyed. Okay, next up we have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. 
have read Love so, so much. Then we have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, have read, really did enjoy. And then The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Now, I'm actually going to be reading The Hobbit very, very shortly. Last year, I hosted a Fellowship of the Read Along, which is where I read the th three books in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so like the main trilogy series, with my friend Lucy from her channel Crescent Pages, which I will link down below. And then this year, we have reprised the Fellowship of the Read Along with the addition of our lovely friend Mary from her channel Mary Among Stories, and we are planning to read The Hobbit in August and September, I believe. So I'm going to be adding that one to my list very soon, but as of right now I haven't read it yet so I cannot tick it off. Okay so next up is possibly my favourite classic or one of my favourite classics of all time. It was the classic that made me want to study English at university and that was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley so that gets a lovely big tick. And then we have Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Have read it, read that at university. We then have Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe. I haven't read this one, Jay did, and I don't think it's really on my major list of books to read. Crime and Punishment, on the other hand, I haven't read but very much want to get to quite soon. Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, have not read, but The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, like I just said, I read three, three books in that trilogy last year and I have read that one. Okay. Dracula by Bram Stoker, I have read and did enjoy. Then we have The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas, I have not read that. And then Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, I have read, so yay. Okay, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, have read, such such a good book. Um, and that is one of the ones that um, Emma and Carolyn just finished their read of and it was so exciting to see them all reading it because I just absolutely love that book so much. Next up we have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It's possibly one of the biggest embarrassments of my life that I have not read this book yet. I feel like a lot of people read To Kill a Mockingbird in school and I never did, it just wasn't ever on my syllabus and then for some reason I just haven't read it since leaving school although it's definitely on my book bucket list to read at some point because I feel like I just have to. The Wizard of Oz, I have not read. Les Mis by Victor Hugo, I have not read. The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, I haven't read, but I do have a copy and I want to read it soon. Animal Farm by George Orwell, I love. It's such an incredible book. Um, the Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, I have read. Some of you may know that my little Netherland dwarf rabbit, I will insert a picture for you here, is in fact called Gatsby, so I love that book. Um, the Little Prince by Antoine de saint Exupery? Wow, that was terrible pronunciation. I haven't read The Little Prince. And um, The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Now, I haven't read this one, but I did buy a copy of it for Jay for his birthday last year, and he read it almost immediately and loved it so much. So I might get to that at some point soon. Two, two, no. Can she speak? Who knows? 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I have not read that one. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. I have read such a good book. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Haven't read. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I have read. And on the topic of uh, pets named after literary characters, um, our cat please see picture here, is called Oscar and we found he was like a stray cat that we had then adopted and so we named him Oscar, nicknamed Oscar Wilde because he lived in the wild. So there we go. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, have not read, but Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, I have read and as you can see right there, that copy of Sense and Sensibility is possibly my favourite book cover on my shelves. It is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Okay. The Last of the Mohicans by James Fenmore Cooper. No, I haven't read that. Tess of the D'Urbervilles. I have not read, but I really, really want to. I really, I've never read any Thomas Hardy, to be honest, but I really would like to read some soon. Harry Potter and the it says Sorcerer's Stone. I'm from the UK, so I'm going to say Philosopher's Stone, but I have read it. Heidi by Joanna Speary. I haven't read, but I've got a copy and I really want to. Ulysses by James Joyce, have not read. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Now, I've read some Sherlock Holmes, but unfortunately I've not read the complete one, so because it doesn't like specify, I'm gonna have to say I haven't, although I have read a few Sherlock Holmes stories. Now, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, haven't read, Jay read it in spring and is obsessed with it. I think it is now possibly his favourite book of all time. So that is a big statement and he absolutely loved it. So I'm a bit scared by it and it's not going to be one that I read anytime soon, but 
based on his review it might be one that I read at some point in the future. The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, haven't read. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, haven't read. Hunchback of Notre Dame, haven't read. God, this is looking sad. Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi, I have not read. 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, I have not read. Ivanhoe by Walter Scott, I have not read. Oh God, The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane, I haven't read. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery is on my TBR. I want to read it, but I haven't. Um, it's my mum's like favourite book series from when she was younger, and so I really want to read the Anne of Green Gables books, but I haven't got around to it yet. Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, haven't read. <laughs> God. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, haven't read. A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, haven't read. Can you guess if I've read The House of the Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne? If you guess no, you are correct, I haven't read it. Okay, <laughs> finally one that I've read. The Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Woohoo! I've finally read a book. Okay, The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain. I have not read. The po a Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce is on my shelves, but I haven't read it yet. Lord Jim by Joseph Conrad. I do not like Joseph Conrad's books. I've only read one, but it's scarred me for life, so... I don't think I'll be reading anything else by Joseph Conrad, but next up we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which I have read, thankfully. Okay, next up we have The Red and the Black by Stendhal, I have not read. The Stranger by Albert Cambus, I haven't read. The Trial by Frank Franz Kafka, I have not read. Lady Chatterley's Lover, I haven't read. Kidnapped, The Adventures of David Balfour by Robert Louis Stevenson, I haven't read it. The Catcher in the Rye, I have read, yay. I'm really starting to get a little bit nervous about my goal of reading 50 of these books, but onwards we move. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, I would like to read, but I have not yet. A Journey to the Centre of the Earth by Jules Verne. Again, I feel like I've seen a movie version, but I've never read the book. Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray, have not read. All Quiet on the Western Front by... Eric Maria Remark, I have not read. Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, I haven't read. Um, My Antonia by Willa Cather, I haven't read. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, I'm fairly certain almost every student from the UK read Of Mice and Men at GCSE, so I definitely read that one. Um, the Vicar of Wakefield by Oliver Goldsmith, I haven't read. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court by Mark Twain, I haven't read that one either. White Fang by Jack London is not one that I have read. Fathers and Sons by Ivan Turnagev, I have not read. Dr. Shivago by Boris Pasternak, I haven't read that either. The Decameron, is that what it says? Decameron by Giovanni Boccaccio. Don't know why I did an accent for that, but there we go, I haven't read it. 1984 by George Orwell, I have read. Thank God for that. The Jungle Upton by Sinclair, I haven't read. The Da Vinci Code, I have not read. Persuasion by Jane Austen, I have read, thankfully. Mansfield Park by Jane Austen is the only Jane Austen novel that I have still yet to read. I have a video coming out very shortly about some very exciting Jane Austen novel read-along plans, so keep that in your mind and that will be coming out very shortly, but yeah, Mansfield Park is on my list. Okay, Candide by Voltaire, I haven't read. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway, no. Far From the Madding Crowd, I have some copies of and I would like to read that soon, but I haven't read it yet. The Fellowship of the Ring, I have read. Oh god, we're near the end. The Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy, I haven't read. Sons and Lovers by D. H. Lawrence, I haven't read. Charlotte's Web by E. B. White, I haven't read. The Swiss Family Robinson by jo Johann David Weiss, I haven't read. Bleak House by Charles Dickens, I haven't read. And finally, Pierre Gua. Gorio by Honor de Balzac. I haven't read. I'm now guessing it's going to be more like 25. <laughs> if you've been keeping count throughout then um, you'll know before me but without further ado I'm going to click show me my results. 27. <gasps> wow okay I mean it's slightly better than 25 but only slightly and certainly nowhere near the total 100 
Although, according to BuzzFeed, I have read a ton of these. You're either an English major, which I was, I did an English degree, or you just love the classics. Either way, I'm impressed. Thank you, BuzzFeed. You've made me feel better. And apparently, I checked more than 69% of quiz takers. So that's pretty good as well. Although now I feel like I have a lot, a lot of work to do in terms of ticking off the rest of these books, because quite frankly, that was pitiful and I have a lot more reading to do. So. I hope you enjoyed seeing me expose myself and just how many classic books I still need to read. There are a lot out there and that's only just a small selection of the best ones but I need to do a lot more reading. So without further ado, thank you so so much for watching. If you did this quiz as well, I would love to know your total. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you have any of the classics on there that I didn't read that you think I should really try to get to soon, then let me know that in a comment as well. But for now, thank you for watching. I have a lot of reading to do so I'm gonna see you next time.